Have you had any bad dates in Japan? I've d- yeah, I've definitely had some bad dates. She was like a university student, so on the younger side, but I met her. We went for lunch first and then went for a walk around the park, and the whole time, like, she said maybe 10 words max. <laughs> like, I was literally just talking to myself. It was so incredibly awkward. We, she said barely anything, just kind of nodding. And I was like, that was the worst day of my life. Like, I'm, ugh. <laughs> I don't want to talk to this person anymore. We got back. I, I got I got a message online like an hour later. I had such a lovely time with you. Like, <laughs> what, when are we meeting up next? Like, what? I was like, what? About? what? I'm, I'm exhausted yeah. from carrying this date. But, but I realised some girls, they, especially if they're not used to having to make an effort, they just don't know how to communicate on like a human level. They they just they're just waiting for me to Initi- show who yeah. I am. Yeah, initiate everything. But it was to a point where it was like bizarre. Like I was sure that she was desperate to go home. Like I, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Man. Have you ever never had that? Honestly, man. That what you said is really common. They, they they expect the guy to plan the date, be the entertainer, and they just show up because they're cute. Yeah. But the whole conversation, they're like, "Give me a reply." Give me a reply. <laughs> yeah. It's exhausting, man. Going out with girls like that, because let's be real. The only reason you're going out with her because she's hot, and you're just hoping as long as I enjoy this bullshit, entertaining, I might be able to shag this girl. I, th- I think, yeah. I, I also, I was kind of new to Japan. I didn't really know. Did you go home with uh, Blue Wars? <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't like that, no. I, I, I saw her a few more times, but it it never got better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, she, um... Uh, what was the question? <laughs> um, okay, first date. She was half an hour late. She didn't apologise. Ooh. And she was she was never pretty. A good sign. Yeah, yeah. She, was, she was pretty, but I've never had that minimal effort. I had to carry the conversation, like one word responses, and I had to pay for everything. <laughs> so you didn't have to. Why are you telling me that now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. And Times have changed since back in your day. <laughs> and I, she wouldn't message me unless I message her, and then she would reply. But was she actually interested? I, I, I don't know. So because in my case, despite that lack of response, that, that was my whole point. Like she, she was genuinely interested. Well, and it like it baffled me that someone could be interested and give so little. She, she the thing is with her is that I wasn't sure if she liked me, but every time I I messaged her, she would respond to me straight away, and she would want to hang out. Which sure. I wasn't sure if she just wanted free food <laughs> or she wanted to hang out. I realised, why am I wasting my fucking time with this average girl? Yeah, no, no, it's a good point. Uh, especially, yeah, a lot of the a lot of the girls that think they don't have to make an effort really should. <laughs> They're not as quite as hot as they maybe think they are. Or... I I honestly think if a girl really likes you. She would absolutely make the effort to see you. And she would be cool with the most basic date. Let's just say, do you want to go to the park, go for a walk? And if she's into that, then she really likes you. She doesn't need that fancy shit. Yeah. That's that's what drew me to my current girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, my girl. Like, f- the first date, let's go hub. Yeah. She was like, yeah, right. Yeah. That's first green flag. Then when I met her, and we're just chatting, and the conversation just flowed, and I offered to buy her a drink, but she declined. She she wanted to pay for herself. Like there was no weirdness about the bill or anything like that. Even like I I did offer because you know first date. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like the fact that she acts despite 
Say how how lovely she is. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, um, like it it tells you a lot when a wo- like a woman can just communicate with you on a human level in a simple place, just with a drink or two. Like that. <laughs> What's so funny? No, no she got it. <laughs> what? It's, it's nice. It's nice. Nice story. No, no. I'm not. For all, all of the ladies out there, if you're into your guy, don't don't play the games. Just go to the hub. Go oh, to the hub. <laughs> <laughs> you might not. You might be in Japan. Go to local pub. <laughs> if you're in Japan, go to the hub. Um, just say to, say say to the guy like, no, don't you pay for me? I'll pay for myself because I'm a strong, independent woman. And then. Suck him up. No, um, <laughs> I, don't, I, I, well, I don't know where I'm going with this story. My point was, my point was, my girlfriend is fucking amazing. Yes, a bit whipped. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. That's 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 why I chose my girl because <laughs> she. What, after she my, what was my story? <laughs> I don't know. If you can have like loads of laugh, lo- loads of laugh. If you can have a laugh with just like the most basic thing, just drink, even like this, drinking outside, watching a movie on, on your laptop, going to hub, having a beer. The first conversation I had with my girlfriend was like, nice to meet you, blah, blah, blah. What do you do? Um, within five minutes, my first conversation topic was about um, pedos and Jimmy Savile. Yeah. Like, I knew her for five minutes. I was talking about pedophiles. She loved it. Did it turn her on? turned her on and she loved it she loved absolutely it. loved it nice. and that told me like man did you watch um, the IT crowd when uh, the boss had that tranny and for a date and he yeah, thought, yeah, 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 he that, thought she was from Iran and they just watch eat pizzas drink drink beers arm wrestle and make out yeah that was literally like my first few dates okay <laughs> and I was like I realised she's the one like this is like this is exactly what I'm looking for no pretentious bullshit no like 10,000 yen dinner just a few cans Domino's pizza and watching some fights it's like well what do you need mate that is a classy date by my standards yeah that is bloody good Domino's it it ain't cheap I'll tell you that much with salami as well that's like double the price ladies this guy he, he puts it out yeah I don't know what's have you ever had to kind of walk out of a date like halfway through yes but um, I had a really bad date and she was one of those new age spiritual bullshit girls <laughs> she kept talking about there was, a, there was a spirit in her house and it was communicating to her in her sleep and she would just talk for like an hour and I got one sentence in and she's like oh yeah that's nice oh anyway I could barely speak she just wanted to chat for about an hour and I, 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 I faked food poisoning and I left. Well, I where were you? Of, in a restaurant? Yeah. I deleted all of our contacts. Did you pay? I, I, just, I just put like 2,000 yen and left. I'd rather have a real food poisoning heart. I'd, I'd, I'd rather be wait, sick. Wait, please elaborate. She, she said a spirit a was... S- a spirit was in her room and it was communicating to her in her sleep. And it didn't help that she wasn't good looking. Was she 20s, 30s? Because when I think of like ghost spirit ladies, I think of like kind of 60 year old. old wrinkly lady of like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. kind of. No, no. Um, I think I was like 26 and she was like 28, 29. But she was so out of touch of how to actually chat to a guy. She just told, she basically told a fairy tale story on our date. Mm. And she didn't want to hear anything I had to say. I just deleted her contact straight away. Moon walked out of there. Not ideal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not ideal. For me, whenever a girl wears vintage clothing, she's either cool or fucking weird. Japan's known for being weird and crazy. That That's the image everyone has. But personally, have you experienced any weird or crazy shit that comes to mind? I, I used to take the, the trains called Tobu Tojo Line and every day... I think it's stopped by some fucking mental asylum or something, but you get guys come on and the, let's say one guy would, he would count every girl he would see on the train and like stare them down like Terminator scanning their clothes and there would be like 
I want your claws. Give them to me now. And there'll be another guy. He would only sit next to sleeping women and put his hand on the girl's hand. Did they have a big nose? Was their last name Blockheel? Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, I think, I think Japan has a lot of weird... A lot of weird individuals because... I think they can't be themselves at work. So, if they have the day off on Saturday and Sunday, you just see so many clowns just walking around. I saw a guy, I think, last week, and he had goldfish earrings, like like live goldfish swimming in his earrings, like a seventy-year-old man oh. in a school uniform. How does that work? I, I don't know, man. I, I think it's like some what do you call it? A beat a beaker, you know, in the science. Science labs, you call it a beaker. Just put the fish in there and they just put a plug in it and hang it on his ear. But you have proper stretchers. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's one of your mates. We went to a Halloween party and we saw someone dressed up as a Nazi. <laughs> so, I remember yeah, that. That ain't, that ain't gonna fly in the mashed, UK. I was mashed, but I, I, I yeah. remember that much. That ain't gonna fly in the UK, man. He'll get like punch in the face, <laughs> but he seemed legit as well. Like weirdly legit. We took a selfie together. <laughs> like, you, you, you got it. You got it. Yeah, yeah. When it, you know, when in Rome. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he was he was cool for me. So yeah, he, 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 he was a nice Nazi. Did you have a chat? Nice yeah, chat. We had a nice little chat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was Japanese. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He he actually wanted to take a picture of me. So yeah. Good. Yeah, I mean, you were dressed up as the the KKK, so. <laughs> it was selling. <laughs> Why were you just a bit? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just a bit. Yeah, yeah. You know it. Remember that old bar we went to in Atami? The old granny. Who, like very, very awkward experience, but yeah. fun. So we went to this bar, and um, one Japanese guy and three foreigners, and you could just tell when she just looked at us. She's like, "Who the fuck are these guys?" But luckily now it's like Japanese, so we had that Japanese escape out of jail card. But you could tell she was sulking and moaning. And uh, some Chinese people came in, and she was like, "Sorry, we're we're fully reserved." When they left, so like, no Chinese. She said in English, "No Chinese." She like, said no manners. Yeah. So you know, I confronted her. She she made her points and she gave us free sausages you got on very well with that lady as I remember I had to she hated us and then at the end of the night she was shaking my hand she she liked you 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 won her over I had to break down the, the hate by flirting <laughs> sometimes you know yeah. angry person needs a bit of love I think that's what she needed yeah. She yeah. It worked cuz yeah. she 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 loved you. So, the the 85 year olds have a real thing for you. And, and me and Matt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just clapped on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So next time we go to an old Isakaya, some old grumpy woman, it's your turn. Yeah, why not? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and I saw a guy with three three smartphones playing Pokemon Go I've seen the, the Pokemon time. Go people I saw I admit I was a player for quite a long time um, I'm not surprised get the steps up or you know but to keep fit so I would in, in my kind of local area I, I would see the Pokemon Go players I was in marathon training so I, I would jog and kind of pass by the the Pokemon Go gyms and stuff I, 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 I don't know if Joking. The, the watchers yeah know the um the game but it's uh yeah you would meet these local people who would always be playing Pokemon Go very strange your best mates but in a weirdly compelling way the, not mates but I, I would say like all right and they would say all right yeah that kind of level of communication but there was this one dude that had like a fucking like Yu-Gi-Oh like jewel arm style you know what I mean like he had like a setup it like had cards deck on his sort of but yeah, instead yeah. of cards iPhones 
Would you would you wear that? So it's like one mate, I wish I could afford it. Yeah. I would if I would if I could. But it's like one, two, three, four, five. Pokemon Go and all. Legend. I actually um The swagger. Yeah. Mm. And uh one thing led to another. <laughs> 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 no. no, but um he, he 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 was a sad bastard, let's be real. But you've gotta have a respect for that. Yeah. He 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 was wearing a suit with five iPhones on a U. Yeah, like he, he just clocked off work. He clocked off work. Five iPhones. I'm playing Pokemon Go. This is how I. This is when I feel alive. Mm. Respect. Yeah. Let's go for it. Very place. sad, <laughs> but respect. Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Occasionally, if you go every summer, there are a few music festivals, and you're in the middle of the mountains. This is one of my craziest moments in Japan. I used to go raving in Japan in Yamanashi area, and it's like a side si- trance, side trance, techno. Everyone looks like Jesus. Everyone's wearing like loose, colorful neon clothes all night in the middle of the forest. There's no phone signal. You're so isolated, and people just bring all sorts of stuff, man. Mm. And uh, okay. anything, anything kind of goes, really. And and those are the coolest Japanese people you meet. They'll be like proper down, just chat with you. I went there, and I was the only foreigner in the middle of the mountains, and everyone was super cool to me. Yeah, Best yeah. experience I ever had in Japan. Yeah, you've told me about this before. Yeah. I'm interested in that. Yeah. Man. How how did you even find out about that kind of thing? Because it's not the kind of thing you could easily just Google or yeah. whatever. Like how? Yeah. Where did that come from? My one of my first friends in Japan. My boss, <laughs> he he was into that kind of stuff, and he he would always invite me every summer to these type of festivals. And honestly, man, it it's, it's the best experience I ever had. But it's it's a true experience in Japan. You're in the middle of nature in Japan. It's gorgeous in summertime, four five a.m. It's hot. Everyone's got their t-shirt off, smoking, drinking, and no one gives a shit. With your boss, though, you said. Yeah, man, he's cool. He's cool. Well, he's, he's more like my, my, um, my supervisor. Really let, can you really let loose when you're with colleagues? Okay, okay I th- he's more like my supervisor. Okay. But, yeah, man. I'd be scared to get mashed when I was with work people. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to. I think, I think that's, that's something in Japan that you kind of get accustomed to because people's bosses normally invite, invite you out to drinks and stuff. Mm. I, went, I, I went to a Kabakura and my boss was like, I want to go to a Kabakura. Yeah, I think it's something you just yeah, it's a bit weird, get accustomed to in Japan. Yeah, it is a bit Seeing weird. your boss do that. I've never, I've never seen that, but, <laughs> but I, I, I've, I've heard. Yeah, you're not the only one. Yeah, let's put it that way. No, interesting. They, yeah, that kind of festival vibe because festivals I've been into in Japan are way tamer. Man. Like the, the the kind of mainstream festivals in Japan are very tame, but it seems like you went to more of an underground thing, right? It's, yeah. Um, yeah, I've got to try it. Yeah, I think it's uh, like psychedelic trance. Fuck you know. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Should we move on? Yeah. I, I've been here for about six, seven years and I've been stopped by police maybe two or three times and it kind of pissed me off. But I notice a lot of foreigners in Japan have had the same fucking situation. Have you been stopped by police? Weirdly, yeah, I've been stopped by police probably five or six times. Fucking okay, hell. Well. In about five years, so. I guess it's not super regular, but it's enough to um, to bother me. <laughs> you probably stop more than me. Yeah. Yeah. When when you look at, when you got you know a bad boy face like this. It's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, the comb over and the the, 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 the check over. <laughs> the, the Roy from Coronation Street. No, no, Roy from Coronation Street. <laughs> what does that mean? No, 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 no. 
I mean, anyway, where, 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 where? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, stop by police uh, maybe twice, and it was it was the same thing. They said, "We're looking for someone," and he looks like you. Can I check your ID card? Mm. This was on the middle of a train, like full of people, and they're all looking at me. On the train. On the train. They fucking. got on the train. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think they they were just like randomly checking foreigners on the train. And it was pretty embarrassing, actually. I didn't know police. What? On the train? Yeah, that. to be fair, that only happened once. What I say to them is, okay, who, first, who, who are you? Because they want me to show their ID. You could be some random guy. It's like, okay, show me who you are first. Yeah. And I say, afterwards, shake my hand. And they shake my hand. Oh, I don't. And afterwards, they do this weird gay shit. They're like complimenting you, like, "Oh, I like your hair. You, you look really handsome." I had that. Yeah, it's like some backhanded compliment. Th- there's a weird parallel because yeah, every time I've been stopped, which, as I said, is like five or six, it's always been either at the ticket barrier of a station, yeah, like on the platform, or just like outside of a station in general. Like the police just hang around stations yeah and they just I've heard this from others I I don't know how true it is but they have like a quota like a certain amount of people they're supposed to stop in one day because let's be real there's barely any crime in Japan the police have nothing to do if if you look at the the police boxes you get them everywhere in Japan the, the Korban and then the police stations they are doing nothing. They have nothing to do. They just stop people on their bicycles like, yeah. you're sorry, young man, you're wearing headphones, you're cycling. That's, that's yeah. like the most serious crime in my town. Exactly. So sometimes they see foreigners as, in my opinion at least, I think they see us as easy, easy targets, like an easy way to do something, get some work, yeah. check their ID. Oh, we saw someone who looked like you. Who yeah robbed the store like it's it's usually bollocks it is bollocks the thing you said about the compliments is interesting yeah because I feel like it's part of the strategy yeah so I remember like often when I got my card checked it would be two of them together two officers at the same time and they would approach me and and ask me who are you where are you going like blah 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 like and then they'd ask to check my wallet I don't really know if I'm allowed to refuse or not. I feel mm. like to be safe, I just say, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, exactly like that, actually. Yeah. But, um, so whilst one of them is checking my wallet, the, the other one is telling me, he's, he's sort of asking me it, in Japanese, sort of, oh, where do you work? What do you do? And then I answer and he's sort of, Oh yeah, that's amazing. He's, yeah, you're so cool. Mm. And then he's saying, "Oh, where are you from? I'm England." He's like, "Oh, amazing. Mm. You're, just, you're so sexy." So, let, let's what's go. It, let's go drinking tonight. What's your number? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but obviously not that. But like, it's it's weird that whilst one of them is checking your IDs to try and incriminate you, the other one is showering you with compliments. Yeah. Like it, it seems to be a, a real. It is dumb strategy. That it's they like, do. yeah, backhanded compliment. Yeah. So guys, when the policeman tells you you have a nice cock. He doesn't mean it. Yeah. Josh was disappointed first time he heard that. I was disappointed. Yeah. They, yeah. Yeah. They gave me confidence for years until my girl saw it and then... So two years ago, I met my girl's parents for the first time and I was shitting myself because it's the first time I ever met anyone's parents. Anyone's parents? Even in the UK. Okay. It is is a big step. Yeah. Yeah. But... Luckily, it was alright because uh, I get along with her dad. We go out drinking and uh, have a laugh. Turns out to be pretty good. Even from the very first time, was her dad quite open to you, or did um, you have an initial kind of a uh, typical dad kind of grilling session? <laughs> he he did, but um, we I, I had to formally announce to his. To her dad that I want to marry your your daughter and that's a common thing in Japan is when you if you're dating a Japanese girl it's gonna probably come up where you have to formally announce to her dad that you want to marry her daughter 
Yeah. You know, it, I mean, it, it was it was uncomfortable, but when you get out of the way, it's it's alright because, I mean, you, what he wants, what most dads, girlfriends, dads want is, like, uh, like male time. So what we did was we got we go drinking together. Uh, go get some steaks. Go farming because he has a farm. They're farming. He has a farm. Okay. He has a sweet potato farm. Okay. Help out in the farm. Afterwards, get some beers. Go get some steaks, and yeah, man, we have a laugh. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. He sounds yeah traditional kind of simple guy. Just yeah, kind of yeah, appreciate. yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, sounds good. I think it's more it's, as long as you make an effort to. Uh, try to get along with them take part in their activities and stuff then they'll, they'll, they'll really appreciate that and we, 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 we have a lot we have a laugh because when he gets like proper drunk he's like makes fucking funny jokes man oh. like half English half Japanese jokes like dad jokes yeah sometimes the less they can speak English the, yeah. the more fun you can have yeah. <laughs> in a way yeah <laughs> just have a laugh about mm. literally everything yeah yeah okay have you had any cool. Experiences with the in-laws, the future in-laws. Um, yeah. So I've I've met. Yeah, I've I've met my girlfriend's parents a couple of times now. Um, but it's definitely not the traditional Japanese parents because they've they've spent time overseas and uh, that th- they weren't as surprised maybe that I'm a foreigner. Mm. I think that's often the big shock, right? Yeah. With foreigners in Japan, it's like they've got to get over that first hurdle. But I, I, I guess they maybe aren't that surprised that my girlfriend's dating a foreigner because she's grown up bilingual and whatnot. Um, but having said that, there's definitely cultural differences. I mean, yeah. her, her parents are quite traditional. So I do feel like I've got to be on my best behavior. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really know what to say. That's kind of. So, so you haven't been out drinking with the dad? Or? So we we've we so far I've only met them twice, but it's been um, me and my partner, and then her two parents. So I haven't okay. I haven't had like one on one dad time. Mm. Maybe that would be different, but um, he's. Um, I mean, they're, they're they're great, but he's he likes to show off a bit. He wants to order the most expensive wine on the menu. He wants to. Yeah, it's an interesting vibe. Yeah, <laughs> but it's fun. Okay. Like it, yeah. yeah. Good. With with my girl's dad, um, when we get we get shit faced, he he likes to uh, check out girls. So we, we watch yeah. we watch the figure skating and he's like, What colour is her underwear? I, said, I, I think it's purple. Said, I think it's red. <laughs> yeah. He's like, Oh yeah, yeah, it's red. Oh okay, okay, you win, you win. Because I'm thinking that might be the problem because I have only met um, her dad with her mum. But she has told me that her mum sets a rule that he's only allowed two drinks. What? Yeah. Because she doesn't trust him or, or like him to have more. Yeah, maybe yeah. his memory isn't good, that kind of thing. <laughs> so maybe, like, if if I got one-on-one dad time and he just got ashed. When we go out drinking, it's me and my girl, her brother, he drives so he can't drink, and his wife, and she's she has a baby, so they're not drinking. Yeah. My girl's not drinking, so it's just me and her dad drinking and we're just getting shit faced and we're just like telling yeah. the funniest jokes. Yeah, I haven't had that experience yet. This jokes. I haven't been able to get shit faced. Yeah. I to be honest, I'm I was mentioning her dad letting loose like so I'm worried to get shit faced around her parents. Finn. <coughs> After three <laughs> <laughs> 